We're factoring a quadratic trinomial when a does not equal 1. And in this video, we're going to be using the grouping method. So I've got a three-term polynomial right here. We call it a trinomial. It's a quadratic trinomial. And a, meaning the leading coefficient, is not 1, right? I have a 3 there. So how do I factor this using the grouping method? Okay, I also call it the umbrella method. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to think about the factors that have a product of three a times c, which is 3 times 4, and have a sum of b, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is 3 times 4 is 12, and my b value is 8. I'm looking for the two numbers, okay, that have a product of 12 and a sum of 8. What are those two numbers? 6 and 2. And I'm going to break out this middle term into 6x plus 2x, right? So umbrella method, all right? And then I am going to pull down the 3x squared and the positive 4. So now I have a four-term polynomial, and I can use the grouping method to factor this. Well, what do I do? I group the first two terms and the last two terms, and I'm going to factor out a GCF from each binomial. So the GCF in this first binomial is 3x. What am I left with? 3x squared divided by 3x is x. 6x divided by 3x is positive 2. In the second binomial, what can I factor out? My GCF is positive 2. When I factor out a positive 2, I'm left with x plus 2. So this should look very similar to what we did in the previous lesson. What am I going to do? I'm going to put my GCFs together, which is 3x plus 2, and then my binomial factor, which is the same in both of these, right, binomial, that becomes my um, other binomial factor here. So that's how we're going to factor by grouping in these next four examples. In example number seven, the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking for two numbers that have a product of 2 times 3, which is 6, and a sum of 7. What are those two numbers? 6 and 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break out this middle term into 6x plus 1x. And then I'm going to pull down that first term, 2x squared, and then that last term, plus 3. Now I've got that four-term polynomial, and we're going to factor by grouping. I'm going to group the first two terms and the last two terms. What's my, G my GCF in the first two terms? 2x. What am I left with when I factor out a 2x from each of these terms? I'm left with x plus 3. In the next binomial, well, as you can see, I don't really have a GCF other than 1. So in this case, I'm actually going to factor out a positive 1. And when I factor out a positive 1, I'm left with the same thing, which is x plus 3. And that's your ultimate goal when you're factoring by grouping. You want what is in the parentheses to be exactly the same. So sometimes in order to achieve that, you're going to factor out a positive one or a negative one. So now I'm going to put my GCFs together, and I get 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. That, that is that other binomial factor. Let's look at example number 8. In example number 8, I'm looking for two numbers that have a product of 3 times 20, which is 60, and a sum of negative 19. What are those two numbers? Negative 15 and negative 4. So I'm going to break out that middle term into negative 15x and negative 4x. And then I'm going to bring down this plus 20 and this positive 3x squared. And now I've got this four-term polynomial, and we're going to factor by grouping. I'm going to group the first two terms and the last two terms. What's my GCF out of the first two terms? It's 3x. What am I left with when I factor out a 3x from these two terms? I'm left with x minus 5. In the second binomial that I've grouped, right, the second half of that poly four-term polynomial, what can I factor out to be left with x minus 5 in those parentheses? 4 or negative 4? I'm going to factor out a negative 4 so that we're left with x minus 5. 
And now let's put those GCFs together. 3x minus 4. And then my other binomial factor is what's left here, right? x minus 5 times x minus 5. Let's move on to example number 9. In example number nine, I'm looking for two numbers that have a product of eight times negative three, which is negative 24, and a sum of positive two. What are those two numbers? Six and negative four. I'm gonna break out that middle term into positive six X and negative four X, and it doesn't matter the order that you write that in. I'm going to bring it, like if I wanted to write negative 4x in this spot and, you know, uh, positive 6x in this spot, I could have done that. So I'm going to bring out that first term, 8x squared, and I'm going to bring down this last term, minus 3. And now I have created this four-term polynomial that we're going to factor using the grouping method. So what's the GCF in this first half of this polynomial? 2x. What am I left with when I factor out a 2x? I'm left with 4x plus 3. In the second half of this polynomial, what am I going to factor out so that I'm left with positive 4x plus 3? I'm going to factor out a negative 1. And in that case, I'm left with 4x plus 3. So now let's put our GCFs together, 2x minus 1. And then my other binomial factor is what's left in the parentheses, 4x plus 3. Let's move on to our last example. And in this example, what you always wanna look for when you're factoring is a GCF first. That's what you should always be looking for. So in this example, I see that all of the coefficients for each term are even. So I can absolutely factor out a two. In fact, that's my greatest common factor. So when I factor out a two, what am I left with? 15x squared plus x minus 2. Now we're going to factor this quadratic trinomial that we're left with. So I'm looking for two numbers that have a product of 15 times negative 2, which is negative 30, and a sum of 1. What are those two numbers? Positive 6 and negative 5. So I'm going to break out that middle term into positive 6 and negative 5. Right, so I know 6x minus 5x is positive 1x, so all I'm doing is just rewriting that middle term into two terms. And then I'm going to bring down this last term, and I'm going to bring down this first term, 15x squared. Now I've created this four-term polynomial, and I'm going to factor it using the grouping method. So in this first binomial, what's my GCF that I can factor out? I can factor out a 3x. Once I do this, what am I left with inside the parentheses? 5x plus 2. In this second part of the polynomial, if I, what can I factor out so that I'm left with 5x plus 2? A negative 1. Positive 5x plus 2. So now let's put our GCFs together, which would be 3x minus 1 times 5x plus 2. And then in this case, because we factored out a GCF, when I factor completely, I don't want to forget that GCF. So I'm going to make sure that I write that GCF in the front. And this shows example number 10 completely factored. So that concludes your notes over factoring a quadratic trinomial when A is not 1. I hope it was helpful.